Hey V-Dub lovers, time for another episode of Day in the Life of Vintage Classic Specialist. So luckily Rafa is feeling better and was back today. So thank goodness he's uh, all better and he pretty much hit the ground running this morning. So let's talk about what he did first. As you can see, the 64 One Family Beetle got its headlights and are they looking good? Got a lot of other things too, you might notice, those of you that watch regularly, for example, its gas tank is in. Uh, another thing that's harder to see without me crawling under the car, which I'm not gonna do at the moment, is the body and pan are all bolted together now. When we left off last week, we had set the body on the pan, but it was just sitting there. So today, Rafa went ahead and bolted them together. So they are officially reunited. Um, and according to Rafa, all the holes lined up really nice and everything went pretty smoothly. So that's always nice. Um, you know, we were pretty sure they would. Brian Washburn's team put in the new pan halves. And of course, they have jigs and everything to make sure that all the, you know, the pan halves are in the right place. And the body was was pretty good overall. We only replaced a small section of one heater channel, which is where the body to our uh, body to pan bolts are kind of along the along the side of the car there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we didn't really expect it to be misaligned, but, uh, it wasn't so good. It's nice when that works out sometimes. Um, some other things that happened here, the starter is now wired in again. I'm not going to crawl under here and show you, but you'll have to take my word for it. The steering coupler is connected again. All that stuff happens before the gas tank goes in much easier to do it from up here than from you know, under the, the fender there. Uh, what else? The brake reservoir, let's see right there on the right is connected to the master cylinder now. Um, what else? The uh, sending unit for the gas, um, for the fuel level, he actually restored it. We're using the original one. It's the mechanical style. So usually those are okay. You know, it's not like the electrical ones where they just go bad. The mechanical ones, generally speaking, will last um, forever, sometimes at least. So, yeah, those are kind of what happened on this today. So this thing is just really, really moving along. Um, pretty soon, I guess, we'll probably put some uh, lids on it, front and rear. I think we're probably done working up here to the point where we wouldn't necessarily want the, uh, where it wouldn't be an issue to put the hood in. And likewise with the deck lid and the doors. So yeah, this thing is going to start looking like a complete car here pretty soon. So those things happened today on that one. So as far as me, I focused my day on the 64. Oh, I never really thought of that before. Both 64s. Anyway, on the 64 Deluxe. So as you can see, it also got its headlights today. Beautiful Euro style headlights that... Were in exceptionally nice shape, except they were dirty. So I completely disassembled them. I think I actually did that, uh, might have been last week. Completely disassembled them, cleaned them inside out, and they're amazing, but again, they were just dirty. So cleaned the lenses, everything inside, outside, upside down, everywhere, and then installed them. And they did actually fight me a little bit. This bus has a lot of new uh, sheet metal here in the front. And for those of you that have been longtime watchers of the channel, you might remember on this bus, which also has a lot of new sheet metal. Sometimes when people, and this, this wasn't us doing this, um, sometimes when people put in a new nose, the headlight buckets come kind of separate. And so what happens is sometimes people put the headlight buckets in a little bit too deep into the body. And there's actually like a lip that runs around the edge of the headlight bucket that should be uh, about an eighth of an inch, maybe even a little bit more separated from, you know, the sort of skin of the nose here, if that makes sense. And on the outsides here, there's a little uh, tab that's probably inch, inch and a quarter long on that ring. And that sort of hooks around the edge of the of the uh, chrome trim ring here. Well, anyway, what happens is when that headlight bucket is welded in too deep, the ring of the headlight can't really catch that lip. And so you can't really get the headlight in all the way. Anyway, long story short, massage that little lip a little bit and take a Dremel tool and very carefully 
trim the sort of inner lip of the headlight, which is of course not an area that shows at all ever. And, uh, and then they fit. So, you know, it wasn't just a matter of bolting them on. It, uh, it kind of fought me. I took, took me a while to get them. And, uh, but you know, in the end, that's restoration for you. Sometimes things that should go right on fight you and you have to be a little creative, do some problem solving. Anyway, the end result definitely worth it though. Cause look at those babies. Beautiful. So other than that, I did start on the brake hard lines. Give me a second to grab my light. Okay, and we're back. So yeah, I went ahead and ran the two front hard lines. Uh, so you can see one coming through the body here and going to its uh, rubber brake hose, which will go to the, the disc brake caliper. And let me show you underneath here. Also put in the aftermarket dual cylinder uh, master cylinder there you can see and there you can see the so this line coming here is the one that runs all the way to the back of the bus under the belly pan it's just kind of laying there right now because i haven't sort of finished it from there back but i do have it running here the one that starts right there is the one that i just showed you going to the rubber hose so they run through this uh, bulkhead and then up to the master cylinder and likewise, you can see kind of the same thing on this side, running over there, going over to the rubber line, which you see dangling down there. Anyway, trying to make the, the bends, you know, nice, neat, smooth, putting all the little clamps where they go and so on, trying to make things look as neat and factory as possible here. So, yeah, so that happened. Um, the other thing while I'm under here is I did go ahead and put together the throttle pedal assembly there. So you can see this little lever set up. So this is the actual throttle cable here running to the back of the car. And then these have this sort of L-shaped uh, swivel pivot here that goes from the cable to this rod, which connects to the actual pedal. So, yeah, I went ahead and assembled that. Went ahead and fed in the clutch line, which you can see running right there, and do goes through a little like dust seal there to keep the uh, tube that it runs through clean. And it's just sort of dangling here, right here, right now, because um, I don't have the rest of the clutch parts, clutch pedal parts, but I'm getting those in the morning. Uh, let's see here, what else? So actually, from the inside. So here's the pedal assembly here for the throttle. So yeah, that's all done. And then I put in this little uh, stopper, which serves the purpose up underneath here, if you can see it right there. So what that does is that it acts as a stop for the, um, for the clutch lever when it comes up and hits the floor. Um, not very exciting, sometimes a pain in the ass to install. This time it wasn't too bad. So I didn't do any wiring today, kind of focused on more of the brakes and uh, some of the controls underneath the, the car. And uh, let's see, so Jacob today was in and uh, it's put away right now. He does a really good job of cleaning up after himself. But what he did today was he pulled out all the rings for the pistons and cylinders, which we picked up today. He checked the ring gaps on them. They were all within spec. He went ahead and reassembled them and then cleaned and painted the cylinders. So other than doing a final cleaning of the inside surface of the cylinders, they're ready to go on. And hopefully we will have the cylinder heads here pretty soon and then he can go ahead and finish up the long block. So that happened today too. Anyway, so that's it for today guys. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time, bye.